here at Lay Links. Now, Mr. King, well, both Mr. Kings <laughs> are not here with me this morning. As you can see, I'm in my bathroom. My hair is because we are going to talk about some skin care products today. I'm doing a product review. Genetics has played a very good role when it comes to my skin. I got that from my mom. My mom has amazing skin and I kind of picked that up from her. So I would say 60% of it is genetics. I don't know what skin blemishes are. I don't know what zits are. I've never had a pimple. I've never had any of those. So it's very easy for me to, um, it's very easy for me to have any effective skincare regime that I try. But having said that, I do suffer from very, very sensitive skin. So for the most part, I am very reluctant trying new products. Once I stumble upon something and I use it and it works for me, I just kind of become a ride and die for it. I just use it all the time and I keep using, I keep using till, you know, to whenever. I mean, what do they say? If it's not, if it's not broke, no need to fix it, right? But also, I want you guys to know that I do not have loyalty to one brand. Over the years and over the seasons, I think most people could relate. Your skin needs change. So what skin routine I use during the summer is not the same that I will do during the winter. It's not the same I'll do during autumn or fall and not the same I'll do during spring. And it's not the same that I will do if I'm here in the US or if I visit the UK or if I'm visiting my home country, Cameroon or visiting any other place. Your skin, my skin, care routine or products that I use kind of rotate between them. So I do not have loyalty to one particular brand, but what I will say is with every brand that I use, I have loyalty to certain products. So for today, I only will be sharing one of the products that I have loyalty to in this particular brand that I've been using for over 10 years. All right. Are you guys ready? Let me I use every day when I have a shower the complexion soap now people are going to wonder why a bar soap okay when I was growing up we didn't know of all these liquid soaps and things like that okay we knew the bar soap so one a part of it is is mostly habit and then secondly when I was introduced to this um, to this brand the Clara sense they didn't have the liquid soaps at the time Maybe they do now, I don't know, but I've become comfortable with the bar soaps. It works for me. And so I keep on telling people, if it's not broke, don't fix it. But if I do see the liquid soaps, I will try. But I'm still a bit reluctant to try because even though genetics has blessed me with good and smooth skin, I have extremely, extremely sensitive skin. Now, these are not the original products. Well, they are original products, but um, when the brand, when I was first introduced to the brand, this is not what the products looked like at the time. Things have changed. Packaging has changed. Products have changed. So, I mean, but if you go to the websites and to the shops, you probably see some of the old products. I've tried the new ones that work for me, so no point in going back, right? I don't really want to revisit the old unless there's an absolute need. So, if this is your first, try, first time trying them out, it's okay. I think you can jump into the new ones, that's fine. If you can lay your hands on the old ones, that's still okay. All right? But, um, when I first started, this was not the bar of soaps that were existed. I tried the soap. When this new one came out, I tried it and see what happened. I had, as you can see, a huge, huge breakout of eczema. It took days, weeks, weeks turned into months, and it just was a nightmare. If I was blessed with anything, I was blessed with good skin. So imagine what it felt like. My legs looked like pineapples. Patch, 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 yeah. It got my mood down. I was very sad about it, but with lots of help from the pharmacists and over-the-counter products, I was able to cure that pandemic. <laughs> and now, my skin is all nice and clear and renewed as if nothing ever happened. 
what are your secret eggs and all that time i will do that in a completely different video but the thing is i don't want to go through that experience ever again so if there's no need for me to try these new things i will not try them the reason i'm saying that is because i have friends and followers and loyal fan, uh, supporters like some of you who are into the beauty industry and you try to get me to try new products and i probably reply with a little bit of reluctance and that's the reason why it took me so much pain and suffering emotions all of the, all of that to recover from that episode and it's not something i want to do that and it's not the first time i've done that over and over again over the years and it's just not worth the trouble so unless you're doing something within the range that i work with or the products that i use out of that i am very very reluctant if it's not broken i don't need to fix it right so that's the thing so but the strange thing is when i bought this I kind of got excited. I didn't just buy the one bar. I bought about three, four bars. So when that happened, I was really, 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 really sad. I said, okay, so what do I do? I can't even remember why I kept the receipt. Do I just cut my losses, forget about the whole thing? So I said, you know what? I'll just try this up again and let's see what happens. Yes, I did try it. Strange enough, I never had any reaction. So some of the experts say when your body is going through some of that transitional period, trying to adapt to the new changes, that happens. If you give your body a break and go back and use the products, there's a greater chance that everything will work out fine. It worked for me. Will I do that again? Absolutely not. It was just not worth the trouble for me. Too much headache, too much man. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, 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 no. So my suggestion is that if you want to try this, try small. Don't go splurging on an entire brand, okay? Just look for one or two things that you can put to test. If they work out, then try expanding on the other things, okay? So I use that every day. And now let me show you something. When you use bar soaps, they get smaller and smaller and get to some point where they have no use right and they just want to throw them. I don't throw them. This is what I do with mine. I gather all of them. I grade them, put them in a container, mix them up with warm water so that they should all mix up. And at the end, this is what it looks like. You see that? And I use it. Nothing really goes to waste, okay? And it still works out fine. Same result. Everything. That's fine. That's a tip I learned growing up. You know, grating soap and not throwing things like that. That's something I learned. So it's very economical. It's very, very helpful. Now, a best way to get a full effect of this soap is that what I do is that when I get into the bathroom, I wet my body. I lather myself with the soap. I don't just rinse it off immediately. I try to do other things. Maybe wash my hair or brush my teeth or clean this or clean that. Just play around a little bit, just to give yourself about three to four, five minutes. Well, I'll say three, four, five, or three to five minutes. Let the soap have some time to absorb on the body. Then after that, I rinse it up because if you just jump in, put it on, and then rinse it up immediately, it doesn't get the chance to absorb and do what it is that it's supposed to. Have it on my body. I'll just leave that for three to five minutes. I'm talking to you, but in the meantime, I'm going to brush my teeth again. Probably brush my teeth while waiting, and um. Probably just clean the bathtub or something. So that would take up some time. And before you know it, your three to five minutes is up. You've given your body the time that it needs for the soap to work effectively. Right? And then I use this every day. A good thing too with this brand is that, as you can see, it has sunscreen in all its products. Okay? When I was growing up, my belief was that or when I was first introduced to sunscreen, I thought because I'm black, I probably don't need sunscreen. I thought that was only for people who were not my color. But unfortunately, that is a myth. Sunscreen is for everybody. We do get skin cancer. We do suffer from uh, sunburns. Our skin suffers from sun exposure. So please do get yourself into a good sunscreen care routine. So with this, it's all combined. So sometimes, depending on where I'm going or what activity I'm going to engage in, I may not add extra protection. That may just work or there may be a need for me to add extra protection. Just depends, but do get that. So this I use every day. This I do not use every day and I will explain why in another video and what products I use in place of this. Okay, remember what I told you before, I do not have loyalty to one particular brand, but I do have loyalty to certain products in one particular brand so even though i use a few brands but they're not that many but it's just rotating within the same products over the years it's what works for me 
find out what works for you and things like that but remember you have to be consistent you need to be patient okay i have people say okay yes i used to i you know you told me about this product i used it after three months i didn't see any changes hello man i've been using it for 10 years so you don't expect your body to be the same as mine especially if you're not putting the same effort that i am right so be mindful of that so major tip it's not about this you can get the most expensive products and everything if you're not mindful for what you consume the same anybody who knows me will tell it i drink lots and lots and lots of water i'm into fresh fruits and i'm into vegetables now and then i will indulge in cocktails and alcohol and things like that but i'm doing mindful of it i come i take some time i do a detox to cleanse my body and to cleanse the system so they work hand in hand okay you can have all of this and then you're eating recklessly, fatty food, you're drinking, you're smoking and this or that. And you expect that you and I should have the same kind of skin. It doesn't work that way. Something has got to give. So if you want to have amazing skin, you want to look great, please be prepared to invest time and effort and also cut back on some of those unnecessary bad habits. Especially when you hit 32 moving forward. I'm in my 40s, but when you see me, everybody looks at me and tells me you look great you have amazing skin and that's just what it is because the habits that i've carried on over and over the years yes i may overeat i may overindulge in this sort of but i always stay true to hydration to what i eat and things like that sometimes not about weight loss but in effect when you do some of those things for those who are trying to cut back you just discover that yes you know once you make those changes here not only is your skin looking great yes you're beginning to lose the weight too if that is your goal or that's something that you desire it will happen so be careful of things like that i do get uh, maintenance facials now and then chemical peels for my whole body and things like that but when i go there they ask me oh man you have great skin what is it that you do so clearly i'm doing something right okay so just be mindful of that so here is a very short video a very short clip of some of the fruits that i put together i just like my fruits i just like my fruit smoothies well, I'll just call it, people call them juice because I don't put any milk or any sort of protein to them. The nutritionists say that becomes juice. Fair enough. I don't use a juicer because I just blend mine in my, I just blend mine all together because I want the pop. The pop is very, and the pop is very filling to me. If you want to put them through a juicer, the juicer will, you know, sieve the pop to one side and you have all the juice. I just don't want a situation where I'm always, always getting hungry. Okay. We want to blend everything together, like what you've seen in the video. That is it. Get yourself a couple of mason jars, put them in the freezer, and you're done. You don't have to do that every day. But that's what I do. So because of that, I don't find the need to drink fruit juices and things like that. And cut back on the sugar because sugar damages the skin big, big time. And some of the alcohol that we drink all the time too, the beers and all that stuff, they do convert into our bodies into sugar in some form, and they're not good. Please. So if you want to have good skin, so that that's my tip. That's what works for me. It may work different from you, but that's what those are part of the questions that you people keep asking me, and that's what it is that I do. Okay, so just be mindful of that. Hmm. Mangoes, lemons, ginger, cucumber, mint, strawberries, the pineapple, and of course the king, the melon. Can't dry food there. Oh god, this is so good. So clean, so refreshing, healthy, and revigorating. You see that? You see me? Do a lot of filters. <sighs> <laughs> my face I do other things <laughs> or use other products because sometimes this can be very dry when I first started using it at the time I suffered from oily face so the dry effect of this all worked out for me but I think with time um, it's the opposite now my face it still comes across as being dry I need to apply other moisturizers on it now to give it the moisture that is needed so you have to be able to determine what your skin needs are now and then I make the checks, the cuts. <laughs>
and reviews and the changes where necessary okay all that is so cleansed off now we go to the fake cream that i showed you for the face you know just small amounts nice and this is dead this is dead some people may complain that it feels a little bit thick just smooth it a little bit longer in your hands and you should walk out just fine now to the body part remember to shake some people complain or they feel that this is too thick sometimes i do sometimes i don't during the winter when i'm just in a rush to get covered up because it's cold the thickness doesn't bother me but during the summer it can be a bit of a problem so use some sort of glycerin to water it down i use rose water that helps but i don't mix it in directly okay i put it at the side because it's not every time that you want to be doing that rose water or glycerin can take can affect how this works on your body so be mindful of that okay let's go so regardless of what products you're using make sure that whatever you settle on it's something that you can afford on the long run you don't want to get excited and use products that you just use for about three months and then boom changes in your circumstances or some impact on your finances or something that's come up that you can't afford that same high level of treatment what are you going to do so if you're one of those who you think that could be a possibility please try these products if not Whatever it is that you settle on to, the key is to be consistent. Make sure that they're affordable for you and that you can carry on on the long run, okay? I'm not an expert in anything. I am only answering the questions that you've asked me, okay? I'm only going by my experience, what is working for me. If at any time, at any stage, you have any reaction to any of the products, please stop sick medical and expert advice do not be like me who persisted suffered got cured but tried again and it worked it did work eventually but it is not a trauma that i want to go through ever ever again so do not do the same all right guys be mindful be resourceful do your research it's okay to try but also know when to give up and move on go to the website they're there i just get my up from walmart this probably just cost me under five bucks, under five bucks. I am not sure, but this should have been under 10 or a little bit over 10, but it's still very, very good, very, very affordable. So if you want to look good on a budget, that's your go-to, especially if you're somebody of color, okay? That works perfectly and perfectly and perfectly fine. So overall, what will I give them on a 10? At this moment in time, probably I'll give them an eight and a half, almost going to nine. They do well, can they do better? Of course. And I just say that because sometimes I don't think they, they, they take care of all my needs. That is why I find the need to go here and there to make it all comprehensive, right? So that's the only reason. So yes, at this moment, then please check them out and let's see what it is that it works for you and what doesn't work for you and things like that. Remember, here is all about self-love, self-care. Take up there your body, okay? That's the first thing that people see. Self-care is a very good investment. When you look after your body, your mind, and your soul. And there we go, beautiful people. Because some of us feel okay and don't have a problem sharing our skincare routine, whatever it is that we do to keep ourselves healthy, happy, and going, whatever it is that we do to make sure that we prioritize our wellness journey, our self-care journey, our self-love journey, doesn't mean that everybody else is okay doing it. So if you ask a question to somebody, and it's, oh, what is it that you do to keep it? What is it that you do to keep your skin in such and such? Where do you shop from? Where do you do this? And they don't give you the answers that you need? Please. It's no big deal. Do not take it personally. Move on. Ask somebody else. Do your research, okay? It's not the end of the world. And even if you ask those questions and then you get the answers that they give you and you don't believe them, please do not cross the boundaries. Be respectful. Again, information is out there and it's available. Do your own research, okay? Do not put yourself in embarrassing situations. For example, I've had people who have visited our home, said they want to use the restroom. That is the restroom. You're not in the restroom. You're gone for over 40 minutes. 
We find you snooping around in our closets, snooping around in our cupboards, snooping around in our restroom because you believe there's more to my routine or regime that I'm willing to share. That is absolutely unacceptable and it is not right, okay? Because you've tried something that doesn't work for you, it doesn't mean that it doesn't work for me. Do your research. Try, be consistent, pay attention, and you should be fine, okay? Remember, this is all coming from a place of love. This is your girl, LA Links, checking out for now. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and most importantly, subscribe. And I do me straight up. So please read this eye, come in around to me, then gala roll out the miles. Mm, go down there, wine and go down there.